Hey, it's John Cancel here with another episode of the Legendary Wid Performs Self Archaeology. Check it out. Right. Hey, Wid, what are you doing? John, I'm, I'm trying to do some graffiti here, all right? Uh, but this paint doesn't seem to work. That's WD 40. Oh. Well, so it is. Well, you got to get up pretty oily to put it over on me because I know where the new art is. This is the legendary wind and I'm here in my storage space doing self-archaeology. And I love art. Art is one of my, my, my biggest passions in the world. I'm a, I'm a junk artist. That's why all this stuff is here. But some people have taken it to a new degree and it's called graffiti. Now graffiti, now, and, and, and what a name that is, okay? We know graffiti was back in Pompeii, back in ancient Rome, but modern graffiti, that is included in the Museum of Modern Art. That's how big it is. Uh, modern graffiti started right here in Philadelphia, and it was by a guy named Cornbread in the 60s. And Cornbread, uh, he didn't want to do the drugs. He didn't want to be a gang member. He didn't want to, he just wanted to write his name so everybody knew who Cornbread was. They called him Cornbread, obviously, because he, he was at the, uh, a boy's home or a, you know, or a detention center and uh, he loved the Cornbread. So that was his nickname and he wanted it out there and he tagged it. Now a tag, okay, is any sort of graffiti. That's what you do. And uh, it started right here in Philadelphia, it went up a couple years later to New York and they started doing it on the trains, on the subways, okay? The words of the prophet are written on the subway walls. That's what we, uh, you know, in, in culture. But we've never took it serious. Now, right now they have books pertaining to graffiti. A lot of it on, uh, a lot of it on freight cars, a lot of it on subway cars. Look, giant studies into this. They have a museum down in Miami that is the Graffiti Museum. And they have all sorts of uh, different, uh, different tags from all over the country. Here's another one, Freight Train Graffiti. All right, this is where they're showing the old uh, trains right over here, the old subways. But look at that, they take these pictures and that's sort of like their resume. That's a marriage. It's on two different. Uh, uh, it's on two different uh, trains. Right over here. Not only do they have books, but now they have magazines. The cutting edge. Look, guys are, are posing with uh, with cans of spray paint in their hand. It's gotten down to such an art, okay, that they have different tops for different things. Now, recently, dumpster diving, okay. I found uh, similar to those photos, but these are real life photos. And they're taken off of freight trains. Uh, they have to, it has to be all over. This is like, this is like somebody's life work that I found in a dumpster. I, I'm sorry, but this is somebody's life graffiti work. Okay, and it's different trains. Now the freight train started because there was an artist called Baines, B-A-E-Z, Bayes, Bayes, like Bay, but that was part of his name, Basil or something like that. But he was from Tucson, Arizona, and he would see the pictures of the subway cars all painted, and he didn't have any subway cars to paint, so he started painting freight trains, and it became a fad, it became a artwork, it became some way that, uh, that urban and uh, poor people could express themselves without having to, uh, the, the conventional ways. Now, that, that, these magazines, I mean, it's so weird. They have like, they have like fallouts, like Playboy magazine, of different, of different graffiti tags from around the world. Look at how beautiful, you know. And it has become a, a, an art form. The guy down in, uh, Bays, okay, must be one of the famous. If you're a good, uh, if you're a good graffiti artist, they call you a king, okay. 
if you're a lady, they call you a queen. Okay, but if you're a king, a graffitier. And I always wondered, you know, how do they practice? Well, I, uh, apparently, they practice on Lion, I'm not, I'm not Lion L, on Lion L, right over there, on small freight cars. Look at this one. That might be an angel. An angel is one where you, uh, where you tag as something that is memorial to either a dead uh, or past a graffiti artist or somebody uh, you know who was close to you. But look at that. That's 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 real. Okay, that's somebody put this mini graffitis on here, all right, and and made them into artworks. I'm so happy I got it. And I guess it's sort of a I guess it's sort of well known all over because. Right over there, amongst all the others, uh, tags and everything. Here's Fat Joe, and Fat Joe tags him with a tag, just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I see the writing on the wall. You guys had a very good time here exploring, doing self-archaeology on myself, in my storage space, the legendary win. Keep on tagging.